Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode eight of the Shoe Dog Podcast. <laughs> eight, eight down, eight down, bro, eight down. <laughs> eight. And two and five hundred half five hundred more to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We go listen, we're not gonna stop until we feel like stopping. And right now we feel like going. It's green light. <laughs> this is this this is a runaway train, bro. Unstoppable. <laughs> Unstoppable. Okay, so if, if y'all if y'all want us to stop, if y'all think we're gonna stop, if y'all feel like it's yeah, no, we're not stopping. We're not stopping. Won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> you just take, take it back take to that. the nineties, bro. <laughs> take that. Take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. All this. All, right, all the Diddy isms or the Puffy isms. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Before we go into sneakers, but this is random. You just mentioned that, right? Because of how many evolutions of a name P D has as Puff Daddy, P Diddy, Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> go, I, 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 I think that's it. The man's um, confused, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's shown, bro. He, like, as, for as much as, as he's done in the hip-hop world, like we, he can he can do whatever he want to do. Okay, if if Ye can do it, yo, Puffy can do it. It don't matter if you call him Puffy, <laughs> Diddy, P Diddy, Puff Daddy. Like we we know you, who you're you talking know it's, about. Pizzy, are you are. Is, is people gonna call him Pizzy from now on? You know, everybody's Pizzy. got that Izzy. Izzy, Izzy. Everybody's got that Izzy at the end of their name. I'm not, I'm Drizzy. not gonna call him Pizzy. <laughs> Pizzy. I'm not calling him Pizzy. <laughs> I'm not calling. I'm not calling him Pizzy. Yo, He's yo. too old. Hey, man, hey. He called Pizzy. I'm sorry. I can't do it. John, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you think this is why he never named himself Pizzy? <laughs> I don't think. I, I don't know, think. Let's be serious. Let's be serious. We, we had we had Drizzy because like every, every for at, at the time in in, in the two thousands there were people taking their first initials or the first letter of their name and putting Izzy at the end of it. Drizzy, yeah. you, you know. You, so I was literally like, we like you think it was a bit confused. He could have called himself Izzy. He, he can he can <laughs> say it on a he can say it on a rap, but if he try to get people to <laughs> like if if the official report comes out that. Diddy has changed his name to Pizzy. I'm <laughs> um, disowning Puff Daddy. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with him, bro. I'm done, yo, 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 yo. yo also, 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 imagine, imagine, right, bro? Like, literally, if he said, all right, I, I'm, 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 I went from Puffy, Sean Combs, I went from Diddy, I went from... Uh, what if he just says, yo, I'm going to put... I'm going to copyright the word P, and you can't use P ever again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, bro. <laughs> if, if, like, no, nah, bro. I, I, I believe Puffy is as egotistical as like a Michael Jordan type of person. However, I don't think he, he, no, nah, bro. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't, you can't take a, a letter away from the alphabet because of your ego. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Bro. The world, oh, the bro. world won't let him do that. <laughs> that'll be funny though. That's that'll be nah, it's common. Nah. Can you can you remember? Uh, can you make a pharmaceutical? Can't, can't say P. <laughs> pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, a pharmaceutical would you <laughs> forget the pop pharmaceuticals? Pharmaceutical. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's be let's be really honest. Some of these drugs do actually pharmaceutical you. <laughs> So 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 then so then this this this, this is the shoot dog podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, oddcast. Yeah, you bro, we are odd dog, right? Really, let's just change the name now. Let's just change the name. We're hey. just odd sneakers, bro. No, nah, because because right. then because then because then <laughs> Phil Knight is then Hill Knight, right? <laughs> Pharrell is no longer Pharrell. He's Harrell. Harrell. <laughs> we, can't, we can't let we can't let we can't let Diddy steal the pee, man. Let, what, Yo, what, with, what's, my, what's, with my protest sign, what, Diddy don't steal the pee. The rototype. They rototype. Rot- like, <laughs> rototype. Like Gunna Gunna's uh, song with Future and Thug it is is not pushing pee. It's just ushing. Ocean P, yo, that's that's still a dope thing. Ocean P, were you, were you, were you, no, were you ushering P? Usher E, Usher E, 
<laughs> and, and, going, and going on to the word E, do you want to introduce our guest today, bro? Do, we got <laughs> We're a having guest too much today? fun. <laughs> I thought we had a guest today. Do we have a okay, guest today? Okay, I, I forgot we had a guest today. My bad. Uh, <laughs> we, we started talking about music instead. <laughs> nah. Listen, this, this, guest, uh, this guest that we got on the show today, he is... <laughs> He is the original shoe dog. He is the reason why I started to use the phrase shoe dog. And it, it went from a joke to something <clears throat> tangible. As as the shoe dog podcast continues to grow and we keep doing more episodes. Um, yeah, yeah. So for that reason, number one, <coughs> he is a very special guest. Number two, he is your rich uncle. Number three... <laughs> He is, Uncle e. <laughs> he is the king of the on foot reels. I'm talking about none other than straight to hold the on. toes on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, Man. before, before you, before you carry that on, yeah, it's got. But there's uh, something I really want to add on to that, bro. Without, without this person, I would not know you. <laughs> you would not know me properly. Let's True just that. get that straight, bro. <laughs> so, so this it's is a special circle. episode, bro. It's full, full circle. circle. I mean, <laughs> straight to the toes on, from the reels to clothing collapse to just being an all around good dude, man. We got none other <laughs> than we got soul on the shoe dog podcast. Bruh. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me. I, you probably was listening to all that rapture about P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Uh, Sorry. So I guess. So, so I guess. So I guess push it. So I guess Pusha T would just be Usha T, huh? Yeah, yeah. Usha yeah, T. Usha T. Usha T. Usha T. Usha T. Yeah. Usha T. You know. You want you want you want some you want some tea you want some tea. <laughs> So he, he knows, you? You, fam? he knows how how wide the rabbit hole gets when we when we go off on these tangents because he is one of the OG members of Straight to the Toe, and Straight to the Toe does lives um, twice a week right now on on Instagram. One is the custom talks that take place on Sunday, but then there's the Straight to the Toe live broadcast on Thursdays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this 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 concept of falling down the rabbit hole on topics, he is no stranger to this. He is, like I said, he is the bro. He is one of the OG. I'm on I I, I get to say OG members because I'm the newest member of Straight to the Toe. So but I met E from being part of the retro game with Retro Rick. And I remember Rick telling me about I got people in Africa on the wheel now. Like, <laughs> like how, how 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 big how big is this thing gonna get? And it does continue to grow, but come to find out, the person from Africa was this guy named E Got Soul, who doesn't have a picture. Like a lot of us don't have uh, pictures on our avatars. So I had to go on the page, and the content that this man produces, as far as reels are concerned. Is legendary. Like, what's 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 the story on you, bro? Like, what where, where you from? How how did it, how did it all start? And we ain't got, <clears throat> we ain't got to go back to the hospital. Cam Cam, <laughs> Cam took it way back. Cam, Cam took us to his parents' bedroom. And I asked him the <laughs> we don't want to go to your parents' bedroom. Well, all right. Well, um, um, well, well, it all. It all really started when my mom turned my dad down for a date. Oh, he just went ahead. Oh, we're going back there. We're going back there. We're going nah. back. We're going pre back. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I ain't gonna do that to y'all. Um, I ain't gonna do that to y'all. Nah, I mean, um, uh, well, well, for you know, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Thanks for all the, you know, like, uh, uh, thanks for all the kind words, especially coming from Q, because I do not. Um, because I know they do not come that often, so I am going to, you know, like, so I'm going to really, really soak this in. So thank you very much, Q. I appreciate it. Appreciate you rocking the merch too. Act your age, not your shoe size. Hey, Still man. available on sneakerveterans.com. Go too. cop that. Go cop that. Go yes, cop sir. that. That's the all that's colors, the by the way. Veterans um, collab. They got all them in colors. all colors. They got them in all colors. 
Nah, so um, um, so I'm from I'm from Tanzania in East Africa. Um, I used to live in the um, um in Baltimore, uh, um, and in Maryland, uh, for about seven years. Uh, um, um, when I was in college, and I've really m- my love affair with sneakers goes back to pretty much when I was a kid. Now, out here, we don't have like we've never really had any sneaker stores. You'd have like a few people that would travel and bring back shoes but they'd be really really expensive and it's not like you're guaranteed to find pairs or or whether or know whether they're actually legit Mm. so whenever you know like so whenever my mom Mm. um my mom or my old man would travel they were blessed enough to have jobs that allow them to travel the world so they would you know like they would then like they would then bring back sneakers so i remember like i've had everything from british knights to la gear with the michael jackson like um, yeah, um the when Mike had his collab with exactly when Michael Jackson had his collab with them. Um yeah, I yeah. Like the old school, like um like the old school Pippin um like the old school Pippins, the ninety four flights, uh the Shack Attack fours. Um but it really wasn't until you, you, you know, so I've always loved sneakers, but it wasn't until I moved to the States and finally started working that I was then able to kind of purchase my own shoes <clears throat> my yeah. tastes have kind of changed over the years so started out wearing a, you know like li- as far as lifestyle goes it was a whole bunch of um adidas martial arts shoes puma and air force ones but i would m- mostly buy jordans and Le- um and lebrons for for basketball perform like as basketball performance shoes because i played as well and then i kind of got i kind of went away from um, from it for a while you know like when i started working a corporate job and then slowly started getting back into it in about 2018 and been here and been here ever since. So yeah, that's, uh, that's me. That's me in a nutshell, bro. Damn. So going back, um, you did go back to Tanzania when you were in Baltimore, what years was, was that? So Baltimore was from 2000 and 2003 to 2007 okay so and then and then two yeah and then or, and, and then before that i still lived with my old man in uh in uh in germantown maryland and then bethesda and then later bethesda maryland so yeah okay, okay. so so in that time was the sneaker culture or collecting sneakers was that a part of what you did back then or were you a broke college kid like just trying mm-hmm. to get through I was a broke college kid just trying to get through, but, um, I would, you know, but, you know, I've been like, I've been, ble- like, I've been blessed enough to, have, you know, um, I mean, to have parents who, you know, like who covered, like, I'm um, like, who covered my tuition and helped cover my rent. So all I had to do with my money was basically pay the bills, take care of my own car, pay the cost for that. Um, yeah, but then everything else that was left over was basically mine to do with as I, saw fit for the most so part. so, so I, would, back then, I was heavy in the shoes and clothes yeah. so back then you was rich cousin e gotcha <laughs> rich cousin e in, in baltimore making all the american <laughs> kids feel bad nah he he was he was he was doing the i finessed it i just looked i finessed it I just looked like the rich cousin. I was not the rich cousin. <laughs> you know what? Yo, oh, 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 oh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. Um, I'm getting this Prince Akeem vibes with the gold yeah. chains coming through in in in, yeah, in just, Queens. We're gonna, sit, we're gonna sit this right here. We're gonna sit this right here for the episode. Right. Mascot, mascot, far mascot. from it, far from it, far from it. <laughs> who's who's your, who's your semi? Who's your sidekick, bro? Who's your semi, bro? Did you have a semi back then? <laughs> hey, hey. Because, no. because you were born, you were born in Tanzania. So I don't, I don't know. Like I know, I know both of y'all are from Tanzania. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, I know TJ. You you moved to London fairly early in your life, but did you spend the majority of your life e in Tanzania up until you you went to college? I think, yeah. Up until I went to college, I would say yes. So five years in Addis in Ethiopia, about five years after I was born. No, sorry, about one year after I was born, we moved to Addis. So I lived there for five years. Then in Tanzania, since then, uh, moved to Uganda for, I guess you could call it um, high school um, for two years. And then from there, moved to the U.S. Um, Yeah. 
So before I moved to the U.S., yes, the majority of my life was in Tanzania. If you add it up all up in total, if you add it all up in totality, I'd probably venture to say about fifty-five percent of my time uh, was spent in Tanzania. Forty-five was in different countries, basically. But the U.S. Did you did you the U.S. Did you mention did you mention Scotland? That's um, yeah. So after so after I moved back from the U.S., I, I I I moved to the U.K. and I lived in Scotland for a year and some change. Yeah, I, I tell you what, masters. It, it is pretty much the the most globe. Is it is the globe for us, but amongst yeah. us, like literally, you, you've been a lot of places. Yeah. So I, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Like literally, your style is. I know you. I've known you for like almost three years now, and your style is massively developed over that time it's, it's, it's crazy like from from when when i first kn- knew you you was picking up all these other stuff and now you've just now just dialed down and we'll talk about it in the few in, in later on but you've now just dialed down and you just got this like uh, what you're looking for is what you go and get which is amazing like literally literally amazing but do you want do you want do you want to know all three of us run through what we picked up during this week because we, we always do that at the start of the show i didn't uh, <laughs> I, let me go Bro, first let me go first. Yeah, go on. Because I did not, I didn't pick up no sneakers this. Oh, yes, I did. Liar, liar, liar. Yes, pants on fire, bro. <laughs> no, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a, you know, I'm going to give myself, I'm going to give myself a yellow card. I'm going to yellow card myself. No, yellow shoe. You're getting that yellow shoe, bro. <laughs> One point for you. I'm going yeah, to hit myself with the yellow shoe, all right? Because, I forgot. <laughs> Listen, my this this week has been full blown birthday vacation mode, so I just been going, man. Like, oh, I, um, by by the way, uh, this is just to remind, let's just let the you viewers know what we're doing. So if if you if you got some if you got small shoe dog mentality, we'll give you this yellow yellow shoe. If you if you got a very bad shoe dog mentality, I'm talking about like howling into the wind, pissing into the wind, and not giving a shit. <laughs> you, you, got, you got this red red shoe dog mentality and then if you're being a really really bad boy you get the big book thrown at you <laughs> you get that shoe dog book thrown at your face the, bu- the shoe bible the sneaker the bible, bible. <laughs> by the way by the way this i i think i think i might have told this story a couple times before but this this book is where this whole idea of the podcast and everything came from thanks to E and I, I say thanks to now because I, it started as a joke with me calling him a shoe dog, but then <laughs> I had to realize, wait a minute, I'm a shoe dog too. I'm, I'm accusing this man. <laughs> I'm accusing this man of doing the same type of stuff that I do on a regular basis and making it seem like it's a bad thing. Yo, it, 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 came, it came out of, it came out of slight jealousy. <laughs> Because it was the it was the shattered it was the shattered backboard little OG Jordan one that ma- I had to throw the book at yes. him. Yeah, yeah. Let, so let's, he, let you, he is yo. the original shoe dog. Yo, for, for not recognizing you weren't a shoe dog in the first no. place. Red card. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Red shoe, bro. Cards. Red shoe. That's three, that's, that's three points to you, bro. One point for yellow, two points for red. Actually, give him five points. So you're six points up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you get the book, you lost the game. You get chucked off the line. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, oh, I, I see the remove button. Yeah, oh, look, look. Oops, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoops! You see, you see what you see what I got to put up with? Me? You see what I got to put up with? Man, this is why. This is why. This is this is. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, t- I'm having too much is, fun today. This is this is, this, this is what drunk on. Drunk on power gets you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm stepping power, back from the keyboard. The power, I'm the back. power to re- the power to 
I can make you disappear. Click, reappear. He can make me disappear, but I can make myself reappear. Ah. So fast. Ah. So ah. 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 We know what that is. We know what that is. Look, I'm going to tell you a story in a bit after you showed us, bro. The box, bro. The box even smell good. <laughs> Yo. So we talking. We talk about quality a lot, especially this year. We talk about quality. Um, let's let's talk about quality. <laughs> let's talk about quality, man. I'm talking about Tumble. Oh. Tumble on that, man. Uh, um, the quality on that is really good. Tumble. Right, cool. Tumble. That, that's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. crazy. Uh, so, 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 how, how many, how many, how many, how many of those did you get, bro? I caught two. I caught two. I got, I got a grade school and a men's because uh, that's what Nike does. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. So I'm about to dispute. I'm about to dispute. I got to dispute this yellow two right now. Because normally. I'm with Q. Now, I'm with Q on this one. I'm with Q on this one. TJ is exhibiting, you know, referee, you know, like, trigger, like, like he's, he's getting a little bit trigger happy with that there, with that yellow card now. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 yeah, I, get one of those. <laughs> this with you, sir. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're gonna get, we're gonna leave on. We're gonna, we're gonna leave E on the st- on the stream and just chuck out those out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because because normally, normally we have to we have to fight we have to jump over each other for the right to spend our money with Nike, right? With yeah, these yeah, draws yeah. and even the regular releases on sneakers, and we we gonna get into that later on. But when you get a first come first serve at a Nike store, you better buy when you can. <laughs> <laughs> buy what you can when you can okay if exactly they exactly if they would have dropped more pairs people would have been looping the line like crazy i've seen it happen too many times yep. uh call it resale culture call it hype culture whether it's, it's one to rock one to stock or you're trying to flip or whatever the case is in these situations <clears throat> the, you see every part of the culture when you when you when you line up you see every yep, part yep. of the culture and i'm I'm not sure, E, um, based on your history that you've done many lineups, but when you when you line up for a hyped or semi-hyped or just even a good sneaker that people want, that's sought after, you see every part of the culture. So I had to get a grade school um, just because they were there. I got my size. I got my yep. wife's size. My wife don't you- care for the shoes, so <laughs> it's out of here. So, so okay. you 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 got one for yourself, yeah? Yeah, this 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 is an eleven. Um, yeah, and to be honest with you, um, I like I like the colorway, but I'm on the fence about this this uh, light maroon or light Bordeaux, yeah. is what, is what they calling it. I'm on the fence. Is about it, is it it. Is it plum? Is it plum color? Like a, a bit of a plum plum color? I mean, it's it's very very like mute pastel kind of color. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and that's so, that's the uh, true color right there. Like my my camera adjusted okay. to the light. That is the true color. I, and as we can see, that's the only thing wrong with this shoe. That little spot right there. Okay, uh, that'll than, come right off. You can you, 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 you can you can you can clean it off. You can definitely clean it yeah, off. I, I haven't even tried to clean it off yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll come off. But that's that's the only thing wrong physically with this shoe. It's perfect. The materials are super nice. Well, how's it compared to the Marina ones? Uh it's it's better quality. It's, okay, it's cool. It's better cool, quality cool. than the Marina ones. <laughs> um, the construction, I think, is on par. Like I haven't I haven't seen um I haven't seen a bad built Jordan one. Luckily, in a while now, like every one yeah. that I get my hands on is 
Actually, I hadn't seen a flaw on any of my Jordan ones recently. Since, yeah, I know. I know that since the Fearless one, the patent Fearless, yeah. I had a little scuff on on one of my my Fearless straight out the box. But other than that, these ones they've been they've been coming hard with them. Yep. Whether yep. you like the colorway or not, whether the quality of materials is good or not, the construction is it's, it's a one, man. It's a one. So, so, um, so I, I, you're probably going to throw the book at me, right? Uh, and pro- pro- you probably are because I, uh, so, so, so in, in the live on, sa- on, sa- on Saturday, I managed to get, I uh, managed to get size 11 and then I, I was trying to get size nine. So I managed to get size 11 and some, and blazing guns shout out to you, bro. Cause you know, I know you'll be watching this. You, he, he reserved a size nine for me potentially with another buyer because they don't want him. Okay. And I managed to cut, I managed to cut a size nine. So I managed to get two sizes. So both those sizes, size nine is going to the lovely sneaker that we had on, on Thursday and straight to the toe. Her name is Jenny. So she's getting that size on. If it comes through, that is a big if it comes through for Foot Locker because we know how Foot Locker plays sometimes. They cancel mm. the order. So, and bro, I'm like they charged me for a, a Jordan 4 value for that sneaker. They charged me 170 for that sneaker rather than 155. So that's a bit out of all the Foot Locker, but we'll talk about it in the future. Um, <clears throat> but and on top of that... They up the price. Um, they up the price. Uh, so I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit pissed off with that. But it means it's still retail purchase. Two pairs, size 11, size 9. One's going out to Sean um, because I talked to Sean yesterday. So that's going out to Sean as soon as it comes in. One's going out to Jenny, which is size 9. So Scott was in the shop today, right? Mm. And uh, I, I assigned I assigned him to do something, but he put, and we'll talk about that because I'm going to show we'll show you what uh, we managed to get as well. So I, he was in the shop. He called me up and he says, "Yo, these brotherhood qualities are crazy." And and him him team talking on the phone and my girlfriend says, "Why haven't you got that? Well, you should have got that." I just said, Scott, if you got a, if you got a size ten, um, pick it up for me, bro. And lucky enough, they didn't have a size ten. But yeah. That that that's the, I'm giving myself a red card for that, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yellow. I, I think it's yellow word. I, I, I was I was so so tempted because I had my girlfriend in my ear and I had uh, Scott saying, "Yo, this quality is crazy. I'm gonna get myself a size eight if they've got the same quality." And they put they brought out size eight. The quality wasn't the same as a size eight and a half on the shelf, um. So I didn't get it, but I really? was that close. If they had the size ten, I would have got it. It would, and this is this is like mm-hmm. shit. But then now, now I'm like, did I really need it? Nah. But it would. But I. But I've got size nine and a size eleven coming. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, two assists, by the way. Um. The, so that means. Um. That means. Yeah. Um. I can check the quality out and have a look at it for myself. But I. I know they look. They seem to be like the electric orange because I know. I know. I'm going to show you what I'm going to, what I did to the electric oranges now. But the electric oranges that I I did for Polar, that. That tumbled level on the side panel, that white panel, was crazy, bro. Like, I'm talking, like, absolutely ridiculous. And on my peers, they wasn't the same. So it could be it could be pair on pair on pair. But that's number, that's number one. <laughs> number two, number two is what you showed last week is what I, what I got this week. And it's a, it's, a bit, it's a week late because you got an exclusive. And I also got the exclusive on this. Bang. There you go, guys. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a UK 9? No, that's a UK 10, bro. <laughs> so that's your pair. That's my pair. Uh, but 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 when I eat, we all eat. Remember that, yeah? Because um, when I told you I tasked Scott to go to uh, – Scott, call, Scott called me on Saturday – and um and uh, by the way, on those brotherhoods, uh, uh, Jamie got one of my mates from um, Bristol. Um, he messaged me and he said he said if you can't get a size nine, I'll talk to my manager. Oh, I talk to the managing foot, foot Locker in Bristol, and try and get a size nine. And then on the on that on the cusp of that Saturday, I got a message off him to say check the Foot Locker account and say check the Foot Locker wrap. It's there, it's there. So I managed to cop because of him. So that like networking to help other people is amazing because we're we're able to help people with retail pairs, and because Scott told me on Saturday that N Clothing will have pairs of this gorgeous sneaker, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful sneaker. Today we actually managed to cop E size. 
Free your six, bro. <laughs> This is a beautiful thing, I'm telling you. And, and, and you know what? It is a beautiful thing because when you can cop sneakers for, for the bros and for other people that, that want are actually really desperate to get sneakers, and let's be honest, like Jenny, yourself, E, are people out in the skirts that don't really have shops that can they can go to, really are desperate because they're reliant on online accounts. So if we can help them, in, if we're, we're more in a privileged area where we, where we can go to the shops and pick up pairs, if we can help people that can't do the same thing, I'm more than willing to do that, bro. More than willing to do that. I would actually, so, so there's a pile of sneakers like right here. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Four out of these five I got from TJ. That yeah. pile that I don't even wanna I don't even wanna like try and think about how many in that pile. I got from TJ and yourself, Q, as well. So yeah, um, oh. I'm, yeah. So I'm I'm always appre- like I always appreciate the assist because, like I said, bro. it's you know it's it's, bro, it's, hard it's, to it's a pleasure. It's, it's a pleasure because if I if I only wish that um, if I was in your situation, somebody uh, was out there doing the same thing for me because, bro, I, I I would I would be dead on my feet. Like if I wouldn't be a big cop sneakers if I was in if, if I was in T- Tanzania, unless you paid a resale for them. And then the thing is, for you to pay resale put, uh, to get them shipped over to East Africa, bro, like that's 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 ridiculous. And we we've talked about this before. And like, nah, nah, bro. Let's like, let's do let's do this let's do this properly. Let's do this as a community that's supposed to help each other in the first place. Because at the end of the day. It's not. It's not what I, my collection is better than yours. It's not. Oh, I got this sneaker. You ain't. It's. It's about yo. You want that sneaker? Let's go get that sneaker. Yeah, so not that, with us. Not with us. We we yeah. we joke, and um, I know I know I give I give the bros a hard time every time. <laughs> um, but but it's it's all it's all joke. It's all in good fun. Um, yeah. And let me let's, let me let me be honest. Everybody has emotions, right? You can't control them. Nah. You can fight them, but you can't control them. So when I do see the bros getting pairs in hand on foot that I want, there is that little bit of, damn, I wish I had those. <laughs> I was trying to get those. I couldn't get those. But yeah. I can't allow myself to fall into that world because that's where you get the type of people that we don't need in the community. To yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, there is there is friendly competition. I think friendly competition is good, the, the, the pushing of each other. But yeah, yeah, in, that, that's, in competition that's, that's in competition it is the push. It's like yeah, when absolutely. it's like when in the uh, basketball players back in the day would say, I don't want to play with them, I wanna play against them. You know, I wanna I wanna I wanna test yourself, I wanna, test yourself. I wanna test my yeah. talents yeah. against the other people that <laughs> are considered to be very talented, the best yeah. in their and, field. And so I think that's kind of that's the the type of dynamic that yeah. we can, we kind of got to push each other towards is being the best shoe dog we can we can be. <laughs> yeah, yeah ex- exactly, Absolutely. exactly, bro. And then the, and the thing I think is I think more more or less it's like I would love I I I would we're more realistic. Like let's just be honest, we're more realistic. Like when when it when it comes to stuff like this. Um, we will call each other out on on bad behavior. Like we are, bro. Like what the hell? What the, blah blah blah. But on top of that, like I I think as a collective over the last couple of years, we've started to push each other content wise. We started to push each other doing stuff like this and doing doing more and more interesting stuff and uh, developing our own skill set. Um, and even expanding it to look outside the box. Because I yo. Uh, I don't. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm. He's. He's been pushing out reels, like amazing reels, and doing fun stuff. And that. That comes from like us talking. That comes from us vibing. Um, he comes up with some ideas. I. He gives me some ideas. I'll give him some ideas. It, it is phenomenal. And on top of that, half the stuff, the half the shit, half the crazy stuff I do, right, is because of you guys. I would never do the sneaker news if if it wasn't for like me and Alex not dropping it and doing the sneaker news. Oh. I would never be put that Elmer Fudd hat on, and and with with walking around with that gun on my <laughs> with that, that toy gun, <laughs> up ears if it wasn't for E. See so what I'm saying? So like, but legit, we do uh, push each other and ma- try and like keep our focus on making it fun, and that's the most important thing. Yo, bro, like like mental, mental, mental. Yo, I I really 
I really, really want a pair of these right now. <laughs> and I've I've been I've been searching. Um I've been searching for a price that I'm willing to pay. <laughs> that 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 right there. That 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 right there was attained by what you you know by by what by what some might call highway robbery. We'll definitely get into that point because we we need to we should need to definitely talk about some 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 court late night calls and stuff like that. But we'll get to that. But I mean, oh, um, rich uncle, look at rich uncle E right. <laughs> No, 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 that's the wrong picture. No, that this is rich uncle. rich uncle. This is rich nah, uncle nah, behavior. Nah, nah. It is. No, 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 no. You got to scroll a bit lower. Look how rich he is. You got to scroll a bit lower. Look how rich he is. <laughs> Oh, it's a great uncle behavior right here. He owns the land and the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, look, 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 at this, look at this rich look at this rich motherfucker. Rich motherfucker. Look, at, look at him. Look at him. Why is he looking off like that? Look at me. Look at me when you're doing this rich shit, okay? Look at me. You look back here. Every time you do that rich ass shit, you look at me. Don't look over there. He don't look over there with his rich ass. He can't even look at us. He's so rich, he don't even want to look at us. He don't want to look at us. Look at oh. us. Uh, that, that is a lot. Oh, 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 actually, actually, actually. Look, actually, a bunch of rich guys. guys. A bunch of rich guys. Look at him. <laughs> look at his pants. Look at this guy's pants. That was a rich guy pants. Look. Look at him. Look, they don't even. Yo, yo, I, 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 literally, I literally thought he was on the on the fresher Prince, uh, Prince of Bel Air show, bro. Then, right, look with that picture, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now that rich guy, look at this rich motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He got trophy room laces, y'all. He got trophy room. <laughs> <laughs> Those, Those are trophy not trophy rooms. rooms. <laughs> Those are not trophy rooms. He got trophy rooms. Make it quite clear. Those are those are not trophy rooms. This man, don't believe now, this man paid five hundred pounds for a pair of trophy room laces. I guarantee you. <laughs> he ain't no, gonna say it. Nope. Now see say that. It. Now see. Now see that. Now see that picture screams rich uncle. Now that oh. one screams rich uncle. Rich. <laughs> rich. He's so rich. He is so rich right now. I don't, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like how rich I'm he looks. Like, but no, let's let. I I did want to um, and and this for both of y'all. Let's go for both of y'all because I'm I'm not I'm I'm gonna say this. I've done a couple reels, but I'm. I, I don't think my my mind. I can't wrap my mind around. I got so many concepts in my head when I want to do reels that I get undecisive and I end up doing nothing. But these I, guys, we need to we need to change that, bro. We need to definitely change that. We when you when you do your reels, we need to change that. Look at look at. This. <laughs> You know what? I I'm not even finna. <laughs> Yo, even finna. you have to you have to you have to show the sneaker of the year reel that E put together. Oh hands down for hands down for E to pulling this together because this was phenomenal, bro. Like, the, the the coordination, the setup. Go back up. Go the, back up. Go back up. Go back up. Uh, right there with it's the this champion one. hoodie. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this this was just there you go oh, you're, you're, you're sorry the touch run away i can go country grab and buy we can go bust i for i we can lose trust why wrong easy pop where you they go go we they go up catch my vibe let me go off blam the trash and it's so tough all right yo put the belly on the body make a clutch See no watch, now she wanna give crutch. Boy got peas, now she hopping in the pod. Man, a real life sugar gal, and my forget what. Did she want dark, told her meet me at the top. So she lives the other day, I seen her waiting for a bus. Give me some more good sweat up. Diesel denim. It's fight like heaven. You gotta love guys. I don't know no better. Benzo truck, white seats, and they never go broke, never. On my grind, she make it clap like I'm Busta Rhymes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that that itself emphasizes. I'm just gonna remove this. That that itself emphasizes 
the whole spectrum of how far we've come as a collective of people. Because everybody in there, you had South Africa, you had Scotland, you had UK, you had East Africa, you had America. Bro, like, we, that, from a global set, that was crazy, Mexico. bro. Yeah, Mexico, by Alex. The way, I forgot for Alex from Mexico. Bro, that's crazy. Like, like I've not seen anybody pull a reel together that with that, that diverse amount of community from all around the world. Like that, that was crazy. That was absolutely that was they're not, phenomenal. They're not, they're not the bros. They're not the bros. Um, we in this. I'm loving. I'm loving the, the new collab feature on IG, and um, combine yeah. that with the creativity of people like y'all. It, it just it does something for me that I I don't normally get when I go outside and I'm around yeah. other sneaker people because sneaker people can be weird. Like <laughs> people, just, yeah. people, people get on the high horse. Some people, um, they just, they just shysty. They, they over there in left field plotting on how they yeah. get over yeah. on somebody like that type of stuff. I see it so often, even uh, this past week when I was in line, it was a lot of plotting going on. I had, I did have to use a little bit of elbow. Thankfully, it wasn't much elbow necessary, <laughs> but I did have to use a little bit of elbow f- with with somebody that I knew that I know. It's not he's not one of the bros. He's not what I I would consider a bro, but I know him. He knows who I am. I know who he is, and I still had to use a little bit of elbow to keep everything fair as far as where I was in the situation. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Like that that type of stuff. Um, we 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 are happy we are very privileged to have the circle that we have although yep. most of us don't live in the same place <laughs> it would be you know you know how you know how crazy it would be if we all live in the same place i, I think Man. they need to shut they, they would have to shut down the, the, the country <laughs> whatever, whatever country we decided to live in, it, it, it'd be too much going on. Especially Yo, I'm having, gonna, a rich, I'm having a rich uncle to back us all, like we'd be unstoppable, <laughs> we'd be unstoppable man. Like the government wouldn't be able to do nothing. The police, like, wait, y'all, it's E. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mister, Mister E, Mister Soul. I'm sorry, Mister Got Soul. <laughs> we, we didn't recognize you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, 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 yeah, right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quick right. I'm gonna quickly run down the of the other stuff that I picked up. Oh, so this 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 was my fourth assist in in a week. By the way, uh, TJ, this. T- before you continue, um, I just need to Go. give my daughter her meds. Is that all right if I just pop off for a minute? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, right back? We'll, we'll 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 talk through this stuff and then you, you, we'll see you back. Okay. Uh, two, two uh, no worries. So, so the fourth, the fourth assist this week was bang. Look at this. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> the Space Age Yeezy Seven Hundred Version Three, and that that's 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 the fourth assist, bro. That's how we do it. That's how we do it here. So you might you might you might throw the shoe you might throw the book at me in a bit because that that's obviously the fourth cop. Uh, that's no. the fourth assist. I'm not. I'm not going to throw the book at you on that because that's some. Um, that's something somebody asked for from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and I, that, that that was that was on the live. Yo, bro, mm-hmm. these lives are crazy because at the moment in time, my cops have been on these lives. <laughs> so, and that's yo, that's when, a good thing. When and when there's a release, bro, let's go. Just when there's a release happening, just go. Let's do a live. <laughs> hey, that's that's a that's a beautiful thing because we other people get to see. I mean, our circle. Our um, our followers, our supporters, for the most part, I think everybody has a good grip on how it works. Yeah, yeah. But for for those that don't, that may come across the content, it's good for them to be able to see other people like them that have the know how, where they can they can hit the button, they can ask questions, they can ask yep, for yep. this. So I get requests often about stuff that <laughs> I don't want and I'm grateful for it because yep. we both got YouTube channels, right? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I'm not buying oh. stuff that I don't want yeah. just to do a video, but I want to do yeah, a yeah. video, you know? 
you, you, you know what you know what the cr- crazy thing is I nearly had a fifth assist this week as well because somebody on YouTube that that, fo- that actually recently followed me was asking questions about the coriander ones and you know those coriander ones that, that those like the trainers brown, yeah trainers air trainer ones so th- th- they were they were looking to trade it and I just said oh well, you don't really need to trade it because I can send you a link um, to I think this this foot site that actually still have all of them in stock because I know you guys in America all sold out um yeah. And they still sit in, they still pay sitting here in the UK. So, and they they do ship internationally. And this one was a European site. So I sent him the link and he was like, oh, cheers. Thank you for that. I was just looking to trade my 550, New Balance 550s in for, for the Air Trainer 1. So I'm going to do that. This is fine. But just in case you, you don't do that, there's a, there's a website there that you can actually purchase and they ship internationally. So you, if you want, if you want that, I think it was seven stocks, seven stocks, stuff like that. They, they, their foot sites had it still on there. So uh, I was like, yo, just to use that, don't spend the resale, even though the resale isn't much, but the resale is probably going to rise on that eventually. So just, just if you want it, just go and get it for retail. This is a, this is a very known foot site, so try and get it. So, bro, like we, we're always trying to give advice and help as much as possible. And then, then also, sorry to go on, bro. And also, your bro, King Rod, right? <laughs> the, 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 the Mr. Beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> He he reached out to me and he goes, "How much for those playoffs?" Because I actually managed to get my size in the playoffs. How much for those playoffs? Because he's looking for a pair. I said, "I know you. I know. I know the playoffs have been delayed for you guys like massively." Yeah. Um, so, so this, this is, this is, um, oh, I think I showed this last week, but it, this is, this is released. I know for some reason they've been delayed for a month or so. For, 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 don't, don't, something, something like that um, is is really sad. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of sad people that were looking forward to the playoffs. Yeah. Um, we did. We thankfully we got the brotherhoods uh, yeah. to kind of to kind of soften the blow a little bit. But I think, I in my opinion, a lot of people that were interested in the playoffs probably weren't interested in the brotherhoods. No, no, no. no, no. Um, but I will say this about the brotherhoods. I did see quite a bit of uh, Omega Sci Fi brothers members Ooh. of the fraternity actually in line and able to cop pairs. So that was a very, very that's, nice thing to see. That's crazy. That's 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 beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. that's where you know what when when people that actually deserve to get the shoe or, or part of a part of a foundation for where it started, it, it it's 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 um. It's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And he he's back. And you're right. You're you're just about right in time because the next the next obviously I've been my my week's been crazy. Cop, cops assists everything like that. And um one of one of the things that I I managed also to do and if I can pull this up because one of these pairs is already off to polar. But what I managed to uh and this is inspired by E by the way. And yeah. this is why it's good. It's good he's come back because, bro, <laughs> I've been doing some customs, bro. I've been doing some customs. <laughs> Yo, the Shattered Backboard 1.0 custom by Love Kicks <laughs> Custom TJ. Yo, uh, I got bro. I got one yeah. word. I got one word for that shoe. <laughs> バカペシバカバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカペシバカ
like, and I'll throw it on. I don't pre, I don't pre-plan like what I'm going to wear. It just depends yeah. on how I'm feeling on the day. How can you like, okay. Uh, so on that note, we talked about pickups. Do, do you have any pickups from, from recent times other than those two? I know you had the two lows. Those are pretty recent. Was that your last pickup? <laughs> that was that. Well, th- my latest pickup hasn't arrived yet, but it's the, the Cardinals that, uh, that TJ managed to cop for me. Something did come in this week. It's not a pair of shoes, but it's something I think is really dope if y'all want to see it. But yeah, go, uh, go for it, bro. Yeah, sure. So I got more to show too. Because uh, <laughs> I did, I did, I did pre plan this. Um, I wanted to wear it for this, this episode, but I decided to go with a t shirt because. It's hot in here. I'm just. <laughs> There's a lot of lights and, and stuff all around my room. So, yeah. This is so one of one of the designs from Egot Soul and uh, Sneaker Veterans. Big Bank, take little bank. We got the Thanos snap going on there, and on the back, of course, we got the branding. Egot Soul, Sneaker Veterans, and this hoodie. I love this hoodie. I wore it. Um, I wore it this week. Well, last week. Um, at this point, the the laces, the laces for drawstrings is the dope, super That's dope nice touch, touch. Yeah. On this, yeah, yeah, and this yeah. this is a good quality hoodie. Like I rocked it all day. I actually un DS my uh, my flints. <laughs> My Flint 13. Your Flint's with that, yeah. I remember. Yeah, blue, blue that was a good yeah, look. That was a good look. I, 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 that was definitely a good look. But the birthday looks, the birthday looks. And by the way, Sean did say, Sean did say so, um, to me yesterday, he really wants to come come in on the show one day. So we'll get him on. But yeah. yeah. So I picked I picked up that. Uh, mm. It's just a little something I picked, I picked up off Etsy, but it's like, you know, M, you know, I think it depicts perfectly how MJ and Kobe were really close. So. I yeah, just yeah, thought yeah, this yeah. was one that I had to have. And it's uh yeah, really good, really good, really good quality tea. So I will be making a reel uh which will feature this and I'll and, and I'll put the details of the seller on Etsy um on there as well. But they got a lot of other really dope concepts as well. Like cool. look, we we definitely we don't want you to give a, give out any of your real ideas. Um that that are, that are... I'm, I'm still waiting for that one real. What well, one real that we talked about, E. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Is he? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> family, family. Still, 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 still family. So, uh, <laughs> on face, they, they, they no, they say, they. What is it? Uh, no fat. They say they say we family, but no friends in the industry. Still. <laughs> Still. 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 So Yo, on, like, on feet, let's on feet. Um, what what? I pulled these out. Um, I pulled the Tinker Threes out, the black Tinker Threes. Pulled these out this week. Detail. I mean, fine, fine details on this yeah. shoe. I love this shoe. I love the colorway. I love the three M. Um. 20, 2019? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 regret, I, I regret missing that Tinker Free. You, the only, only reason why I didn't really cop it, and I know, I know that went on sale as well, um, only reason why I didn't really cop it was because I don't like the ashy um, suede on it. It's um, not, my, pair, my pair is not ashy. Like, I mean, that's, that's blackity black. That's black, black, black. <laughs> so, <laughs> that sounds like a, bro, that sounds like a game show. There used to be a game show in the UK called Blankety Blank. You just basically said black. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is blackity black black. <laughs> like, and, and it's all it's all in um it's all in care, you know, sh- sneaker care. Some people practice it, some people don't. Uh, I I'm I'm an avid sneaker care person. So um I clean my bottoms before I put them back in the box. That's why I got all these pairs here because I ain't cleaned them yet. That's so they they they're not ready to go back in the box yet. But speaking of <laughs> planning, speaking of, of planning outfits, yo, bro, I, have you seen this? Re- remember, remember, this went on sale, bro. Yeah, I got mine on sale. I bought mine on sale. Sheesh. One hundred. Don't sleep on sneakers. Don't sleep on sneakers. Don't sleep on sneakers, guys. Speaking, speaking of planning outfits, 
I plan. Ooh. I plan on wearing this on my birthday, and the stars aligned. I'm gonna tell y'all how, because I did not know how I was gonna play this shoe. The I'm on my year Jordan one, my sneaker of the year, as y'all saw on the reel. I did not know how I was gonna play it, but for my birthday, my wife bought me a dark maroon Malcolm X t-shirt that went Ooh. perfectly. Went perfectly okay. with the dark maroon, the, the dark Bordeaux on this shoe. And then I found where did I put the hat? I found the hat in the mall. <laughs> Actually, as I was copying threes for other people, the 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 Cardinal threes, I found this hat. Sheesh. Maroon, Bordeaux, Sheesh. with the gold on it. Sheesh. <laughs> yo, 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 shows the tongue of the MM and years. Then when I'm I'm going through my closet, right? Shit. I'm going through my closet and I'm like, I'm gonna just throw on some black Nike socks. Nope. I got maroon <laughs> Nike <socks. laughs> Maroon with a black swoosh. He, you I, came well prepared, bro. You came bro, well prepared for that. I, listen, you came prepared today. When I bought that pack of socks, right? It was a multicolored pack of socks. I just bought another one too. Y'all gotta get on that. Cause they when when you see them, you gotta jump on them. It was a pastel color, and this was the only dark color in the pack, and it just happened to match the other my year ones. I can't even remember when I bought the socks. I you, just you, know you, I you hadn't know, worn any yet. You, you know what? If it was like, if it was like, like you were given a gift box, and it was a bomb of a gift box, and somebody lit the fuse, ran away, and it exploded, and all this Amma Manier gears just came out randomly. Like, yo, here you go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the socks, the fits, the hat. The shoes. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Let's get it. Full transparency right here. Every time, the next, the very next time I wear that shoe, it will be the exact same outfit. So <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody when I put, po- because I did not, I did not do fit picks, but we did, because uh, I went at store yesterday. It was the pretty much the culmination of my birthday week. We went axe throwing, and that was the fit that I that I did. But I didn't do any fit picks. I only did picks from the actual event with with my family, pretty much. That was there. Not not blood. Some some blood. Some from another mother. But we took group pictures, and that's the only time that outfit got photographed yesterday. And when me and my wife got back home, she was like, "Oh man, we ain't get no pictures of the outfit. You want to take some right now? No, no." Nah, because next time, <laughs> next time I wear that shoe, it's gonna be the exact same same now, picture. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you now, it might it might be three, four months from now. It, it, it might be jeans. It might be shorts instead of jeans, but it will be that yo, 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 bro, bro. You need you need to you need to put it on a certain date or certain time every every single month, and then you walk around with the same fit. People outside say. Yo, it's that time of day. It's that time of day of the month for you of the year. <laughs> what, oh, what's yep. going on? What's, what's going on? We, <laughs> we good, need. What, you got you got a you got a real rotation. I don't have a real rotation, but you when you put stuff in rotation, and you do your reels, you putting your face together and you posting them. What what was it this week? At least the past. The last few days of the week, like what, 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 what do we have on feet? Mm, let's see. We had the we had the Jubilee Elevens. Mm. We had the we had the 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 Starfish Lows. We had the. Don't talk about that. Uh, we have. Been, <laughs> you, oh, you still don't have a pair. <laughs> um, we had the uh, the the. The red cements that uh, the red cement threes that SC unites. We had the the Jordan One metallic blue midnight navy. 
what else? What else? Did, what else did we have? E, what, this is your first outside? yellow. Yellow warning. <laughs> how you wait? How you gonna pe- how you gonna penalize me for answering a question? <laughs> no, it, it was it was I might as well have said I had flip flops on all week. <laughs> yo, 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 it's not it's not right, answering the question. That. I had Birkenstocks. I had Birkenstocks all week. I had Birkenstocks all week. <laughs> we're, we're, talk, we're talking That's about that it. because it's, it's, it's not it's not it's not even that like, crept up on you, bro. But it's not even because of what you said. It, it, you, it's a fact you just said to you. Yo, you got that still? <laughs> still. <laughs> Still. Okay. Okay. It, it wasn't even probably, what you said. Okay. I probably did. No. I probably deserved the red flag. No, 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 no. Deserved the red flag. No, no, it was. It was how. It was. It was how casual you said. Uh, the shattered back glory loans. Uh, like you ain't even. Come on, bro. You know. You know. I barely remember. Hey, don't do this. Hey. <laughs> oh, then we had. Um, we also had. We also had my beaters. The uh, the the UN the women's UNC lows as well. Beaters, oh, no, that, beaters. I, they're the ones I rock every like most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so, bro! So. No, it's, that was, I, I still can't get over the fact that he just goes, "Oh, you still ain't got them yet, bro." <laughs> That's what you said. Actually, bro. That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> he actually said that. I heard it. I heard it. Y'all oh, go that back. was just that was, rewind, too, that was too funny. <laughs> rewind the tape. Y'all hear him. Oh, y'all hear him saying it. Trust me. <laughs> I heard it. I, I, I got on headphones. I heard it coming through the air. It was real faint. <laughs> But I heard it. I'm telling you, I heard it. That's, that's so why I that yellow, it, yellow it, sneaker it, came up. It. So your rotation, your rotation this week was crazy. Let's just, we're just gonna say that your rotation was stupid, 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 stupid rotation. Oh, you, you, you know, it was really funny. I'll tell you really something really funny, right? Um, I put a reel up on Monday. Um, called uh, I'm trying this new thing on Instagram called uh, what's it called sneak sneak attack. So basically, it, it's like you know, have, have you guys played like I don't know if it's called bulldog or tag. So you run around the play room, playground, and you tag somebody and they're it, and you just yeah. keep. So that that's the whole emphasis of that sneak attack. So I, I put I pulled up the uh, all white threes and I just snapped them. Uh, or I put them in my feet, took a little reel, put her out. And then uh, call it sneak attack, or it's going to be called sneak attack from Monday onwards, because that's the Monday thing. So you you got the whole week to um, to retweet uh, your your sneak attack, and you got I've tagged twenty other people and blah blah. Carried on the chain. It's quite it's supposed to be like fun and games. So I called E. <laughs> I called E. Yo, bro, I got a new idea. What do you think of this sneak attack? Because oh, it's quite interesting. That's quite fun. Like, Yo, bro, you're going to tag a picture. He, he turns the camera around. He got, I've got these on feet. And he, he's just got some sliders and he's got bare feet sliders. I'm like, I'm not going to put it on. He says, bro, just do it. It'll be funny. Bro, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Uh, whatever, whatever works. Whatever works. Perfect. Nah, these are... Yeah. Who- that was funny. That the was YouTube, funny. Nah, the, the, the IG community does not deserve to be, you know, to be inundated <laughs> with a full view of my hooves. <laughs> <laughs> no, your pause, you mean, you mean your pause. You pause. My rich hooves, but I mean, I mean my rich hooves, but hooves. Not <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what you had on feet, TJ, man? Hey, what did you have on feet this weekend? I, I had some. I had, I had my. I had my beaters, uh, which is um, where are they? Is it the winter fours? I do. <laughs> I'd winter rice fours on, or the plat, or the platinum freeze on. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, I need to get take those uh, blue suede and red suede out uh, this week, so I'm going to try and put them on feet this week. I'm going to I'm going to try and do that super Superman combo I did years ago and take a picture. So that that means super Superman combo is one blue and one red uh, on either side, just rock it, and then like literally kind of just make it make it special. Just 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 like the mismatch, and I love mismatch sneakers, bro. I love mismatch sneakers. They're they're, they're to me it brings a whole different plateau to to the actual wearing of sneakers and. I'm not even joking. Like I know, I know these these sat massively in the like everywhere, pretty much, right? And then obviously they're all not here, but in the UK they did. Um, and um, I think they just might have gone on sale. But um, when when I, when you rock them a year later, a couple of years later, and people are like, "Yo, where did you get those from?" I always wanted those. I was like thinking to myself, "Oh, they were they were readily available." What the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't want them. <laughs> you no didn't lie. want them. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to yourself. 
You did not. Yeah, guys, my kids are going to come in to say goodnight. I hope that's all right. I'm not going to go off. Yeah, cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool should cool, I go sir. off camera or should I just stay No, no, no. Cool, cool. So this, that's fine. It's fine. You, what happened last week was funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, well, let's just say that these, these kids are fearless. Like, they, yeah. <laughs> these kids are fearless. They will come in at any point they want to. They would they will they would disrupt any flow of conversation oh, yeah, that they that tomorrow. they please. Are you guys going to bed? They don't care. Come say hello. Right. Come say hello. They don't care. I want to come say hello. Yeah, I want to come say hello. Say hi. Hi. Hey. Yeah. He can't. They can't hear. He can't. Uh, uh, y'all can't hear them because I have it. Because I have the earphones on. All right. Let, all right. Huh? The you want to have the earphones? Yeah. Nah. The heirs to the rich, <laughs> the heirs to the rich Uncle Throne. <laughs> all right. Rich, we got rich cousins in the building. <laughs> rich niece and rich, rich nephew. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. <laughs> we okay, got, guys. All right. <laughs> Royal. Someone's a little too. Someone's a little too happy to be here. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Night, Dad. Night, guys. Love y'all. <laughs> you okay. Okay, miss. Your 15 minutes of fame are up. Go to <laughs> I'll be right back. Come here, you. Come on. <laughs> and so it's not it's not all about it's not all about sneakers. Family, family is important. That, important. That's, and that vibe, I think that vibe carries throughout our group. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm wait, wait, wait. Go. We, 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 like when it when it comes to real life stuff, um, we we can, sneakers takes a backbone for us. Like I know I know there's certain situations that you you've been on, and we've um, the certain situations you've been on. Oh, the certain the certain situations you've been on. And um, yeah, there's certain situations you've been on, um, and like you just you you just t- you physically told me, look, bro, I'm gonna take us back to eat from sneakers, and we talked about it, we we worked through it, and then that, like it, to, to be honest, sneakers 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 to us is very important because it's part of our collection. We we collect sneakers, as you can see, uh, we put up sneakers to feet, and it's important. Like for us, it's it's meaningful. But when real life stuff happens, um, we we take a break, and we, we and I, I think. As a collective, we regroup and, and reach out and talk to each other and try and resolve stuff to to help each help each other. And I, I, and I know he's done that for me. Uh, I've I've done that for Sean and, and you, and I'm pretty sure he's probably done that for you guys as well. So for for us, it's more it's more than sneakers. It's more like it's more like a small family, a sneaker family that we've got together that we kind of collectively talk to each other, help each other, accelerate each other, bring, keep bringing that constant positivity, keep bringing that motivation, keep bringing like like bro. Um, with, with half half the stuff I do is to to, to not is half the stuff I do to is, is to impress you guys when you know, when it comes to content and to and, and to just ho- hopefully kind of give you inspiration and I know that I would say the same thing happens to me when I see some of your stuff it gives me inspiration to do stuff as well like I'm, I'm no joke of a no word of a lie I've been on the phone for hours with you, you know, Q and U E and even Scott and I'm like yo hold up let me go I've got an idea bam 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 oh I've got an idea bam 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 and I was like yo what do you think yeah. of this what do you think of that it, 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 and it, it, it evolves like it's grown so far that it, it's just uh, uh, superseded sneakers it's more like it's more like yo if we were all living in the same country we'll be hanging out in India every weekend yeah absolutely even, even, even in the group um, we've done these big huge group chat uh, calls on, on IG yeah and a lot of times is 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 jokes is you know banter we we poking at each other but sometimes it does get a little serious and yeah, yeah. that's because we come from all different cultures we, yeah. we have all different backgrounds we have uh we we live in different countries the, those of us that do live in the same country we live in different parts of the country different states, different, states, yeah. different cities <laughs> so i think for the culture as far as we're concerned, it's important that we have these type of conversations to better understand each other. Absolutely. And even when it when it comes to to buying sneakers or looking at uh, mock-ups or what's coming or different uh, release times in different countries and how we're gonna get the shoes and the cost and resale and every all that other stuff, sometimes it's good to just have regular conversation. I get checked on 
by my bros all the time. You know, it's just a what's up? I ain't talked to you. E, which we need to get to E's late night shenanigans. <laughs> e, e will call I love this me. Part. I love this part. I love e this will part. call me at, at random times of the night. And it's always on the weekend, which I appreciate because I work five days a week. And I'm not going to answer your call on a Wednesday. <laughs> it's, it's, not because, it's not because I don't want to. It's because it's, it's I'm in the bed, all right? But I get, a call, I get a call from E and it's three o'clock in the morning in Tanzania, but it's still evening over here. And it's, it's, it's just great. Like I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't express how much I appreciate that type of stuff. I know it. I'm, let's let's get to the late night shenanigans. Yo, yeah, the late 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 late, late night shenanigans with E. Uh, like, let's just. Um, he might he might de- deservedly get a red red sneaker on this one, right? Because like, <laughs> let's, put, let's put it this way. He, he called he called me at eleven o'clock, um, eleven thirty four uh, on Friday night. I was sleepy because I had an early night and. Um, uh, otherwise, I would have picked up because it, for him it was two. I was it eleven, twelve, one, two? Yeah, two, two about two to three two o'clock. Yeah. Morning, yeah, yeah, two something. And uh, and, he, and the next day I called him back. He was like, "Lucky you never picked up, bro. I was I was totally wasted." <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when, when you get a, when you get a call from E late night, um, late night from E, I normally do pick up because I'm normally awake. But late night from E is E is a funny, funny thing. Like <laughs> E, tell us tell us some of your shenanigans that have happened late night on. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll let you so, describe it, bro. <laughs> I don't know what everybody else does. You know, like like we all do what we do to unwind. You consume what you consume. You inhale what you inhale. You yeah. snort what you snort, but don't do it. You know what I'm saying? We don't know shit. I consume it, but I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that's that. why I said, but don't do it, right? No. So some yeah, so sometimes, you know, so sometimes if there's a purchase I've been eyeing or, you know. Uh, for a while that I just, you know, like th- that I kind of like the price, but not too sure whether to pull the trigger on it. Usually when I get back home, you know, from being out and I park my car or, or I come out of the, or I come out of the Uber, I'm literally sitting there awake with my phone and I'm looking you know, like I'm going through eBay or something. And if I stumble on something, that's a good price. Uh, you know, no inhibitions, no, no hesitation. Just, I've been known to pull the trigger on some pretty uh yeah on some pretty good pairs uh but the thing is now but the um uh, but the thing is i've also gotten them the two times i did it i think i've i've got both pairs for less than you know like than than what the market um had them going for way less actually so he's 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 it might be late, like so singling it might be late night yeah so it might be late night shenanigans, but you know, I cop, but I still, you know, I got the best deal possible. So maybe, you know, you know, maybe there's something to it. I don't know, but uh, no, it's, it's yeah, your, your shoe dog, your shoe dog, uh, your shoe dog tendencies, tendencies <laughs> go up. The later in the night it gets is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, for, for, forget, forget the spidey senses. This is the sneaker senses. E sneaker senses going. Because bro, <laughs> I I I, mean, I, bro, sense, I sense a low price. We've <laughs> we've all we've all carted shoes. We've all carted shoes on eBay and left them in our cart. Yeah, you're just a little hesitant to go purchase. You put in the address. You put in everything. Your payment info. And you you're just hesitant to hit purchase. Well. You know when you know when uh you know when that liquid gets good to you. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> when the sauce, <laughs> when the sauce gets good to you, uh, and, uh, that hesi- and, the hesitation goes away. And and and, and like, when you, when ah, you get screw it, and when it, you get a call bye. from and when you get a call from E at three a.m. in the morning, <laughs> ain't no regular ain't no regular call, ain't no regular call. He's like. Yo, uh, yo, yo, what's up, bro? Like, uh, I, I, I think I did it again. <laughs> I think. I, it's like, I think, yo, bro. I think I just bought the UNC ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, bro. The fun. It's the funniest thing. It's like, yo, I think I did it again. It's like, what's up, bro? What have you done? It's like, oh, uh, I think I cop the UNC. I think I cop this. Okay, I think I cop that. Yo, it is so hysterical. Like the, the fact that he is he's calling you at like one one a.m. in the morning bro i think you've actually called me at 3 a.m in the morning 
and you're like, yo, bro, are you okay? <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm tempted by these. I was like, are you okay, bro? Yeah, I I I think I'm t- and literally we have a conversation. Next morning I call him, I said, I, and I goes, yo, bro, you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, you call me at three a.m. You call me at three a.m. in the morning, like, which is like five a.m. for you. And he was like, did I? <laughs> yes, you did, bro. <laughs> did you? Did you can go check your car. Have you copped anything? No, I was like, you attempted to cop these. Oh shit! Like I never copped them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I know. What I'm saying is, when, when I when I wake up in the morning, I'll check to see if I got many missed calls, uh, text messages. Then I'll check my email. Then I'll I'll check my my IG feeds and and stuff like that. E wakes up and immediately. Has to go check his eBay purchase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. e, 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 yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, what have I done today? They're like, I hope <laughs> I didn't buy any. I hope I didn't buy anything last night. I really hope I did. <laughs> <laughs> forget about forget about Russian roulette. It is literally sh- shotting roulette. Literally, take as many shots as you can and, <laughs> and see if you cop a pair. If you, are you exactly. lucky? Right, forget raffles. It's a shot. It's just it's shuttles. <laughs> You should take shots <laughs> and see if you come lucky, bro. <laughs> Yo, listen, you heard I, of liquid luck. You heard of liquid luck, bro. Liquid courage. That's it, bro. <laughs> I, I think I think this is this is the influence that Cam has over our group. Because he the the, the shoe dragon, the sneaker dragon, he 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 comes up with the greatest cops from eBay and is like, bro, how are you doing this? And it started with with him sending me links. Did he send you links, E, or or did you just go all the time? All, 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 all the time, all the time. time. He 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 always sends links. Uh, that's how I cop the the metallic uh, low, uh the metallic navy blue lows, the okay. OG lows. So yeah, so, that's how I cop. So, and yeah, but, he's he's yeah. a. Uh, I'm think Q, Cam's a really good influence because if you want to save, if you want to save money on 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 retail pairs cams a really good influence but you have to oh, you have to back out with 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 obviously financial um back into whatever purchase you do but you're always going to get lowered absolutely lower than uh retail or vnds so like it's it's good it's good that that is good so but, e absolutely yeah what if any because i know you you are probably the most selective of the group when it comes to, I, I would say you and Scott probably are the more selective members of the group. Um, what are you looking forward to coming up as far as uh, DS releases, GR releases for this year that we've seen so far? Um, So far, the, uh, the George, the Georgetown ones, uh, the, the high OG, uh, although the although I do have the midnight the 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 co.jp uh, midnight navies and they're kind of similar but at least this one is is the OG cut and it's and it, and it has a and it's a primarily sail like sailor gray colorway. Um, also looking forward to a pair of OG lows. I think it, either in the, either in a UNC colorway or something that's coming out in August or July. I'm looking. F- I'm I'm also going to try and cop the. Uh, the fire red threes those are a definite must cop for me yeah um if they retro if they retro either the bordeaux or the or the raptor sevens i'll probably i'll most likely go after one of those yeah. or both of those are you gonna other than citrus? that i have decided yet i really don't know i mean i i, I, I wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind a black like i wouldn't like if I'm gonna get a seven, uh, like I do have, I only own one pair of sevens, which is the Flint seven. But yep. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind like an all black. Um, I take the Bordeaux colorway just because I like, you know, like just because it's a, mm-hmm. like it's an iconic colorway. But I actually want an all black Jordan seven. Um, if I, Ooh, so, I, so if I, I can I, get the original Raptors, that if that yeah. that's cool. that's kind of what I'd be looking for. I I I um for for me I I think that is for sevens it started with the Ray Allen sevens you know those uh, purple purple and um, black Ray Allen sevens it started that that yes. started the seven vibe for me because I wasn't really into sevens until I picked that up and then I started wearing it a bit more then the Flint sevens game the PSG sevens game I got I think I got another seven somewhere but like that that whole rumor with with the Bordeaux sevens not the Bordeaux I mean the Raptor sevens has gone quiet really quiet like that was that was a definite. 
like, yo, this is definitely coming out next year. But we might see some, we might see that reoccur because I think that's gonna, that's a sneaker that's probably in production now for full, for full time. So if it is definitely coming out, we'll start to see pictures in like um, probably April, May time for, or even June time to actually gear up for everything past August, like September, October, November time. So from that perspective, I think, I think we might see more pairs or more, more pictures coming out soon. I and mean, I'm fingers crossed, I'm hoping that that actually comes out. But saying that, we've seen Citrus 7s been announced this year. Um, and then they're definitely cut pictures of them. And they're coming out, um, they're coming out like in October time. So that mm. sneaker there is 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 a double up worthy. I'm definitely getting two pairs of those. Double, 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 double. Like I'm going to and straight off the bat, that's going straight on my feet, like hundred hundred percent straight on my feet. Um, yep. And then on top of that, I will definitely also have one to stock, and I wear that constantly to put pressure on that. But the, that that Citrus Seven is something I I absolutely admire and love uh, from 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 uh, first ever seeing it, and that was years and years ago. Mm-hmm. But also on top of that, I need the, those Bin Sevens, bro. Those Bin Sevens are crazy. Was it Micro or the Micro Bin Sevens or something like that? I might be wrong. I might totally mess up that name. Was probably. that the one that Mr. Miller had on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. Was it night? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I, I don't think we'll ever see that again. If we do, uh, yeah, I'm. 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 I'm gonna have to get a red card. I'm gonna get myself a red card. <laughs> a, red, a red shoe on that one. If if we get that shoe again. It's going to be crazy outside trying to get pairs of that shoe. And I yeah. will be out there. I'm telling you now. But the Citrus <laughs> 7, um, I think right now, for me, that Citrus 7 is probably the top of my list outside of the Alma Mon Year 2. I really, 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 really want that Alma Mon Year 2. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it for retail because I'm I'm probably not going to be willing to pay the resale value for it. Maybe um because I'm starting I'm starting to uh, do a little bit on trade block. So maybe if I got some stuff that that people want to trade for, I'll do that. But yeah, those Citrus Sevens. Also, um, we were talking with Jenny the other day about the military black fours. Uh, I I kind of like them, but I don't I don't think I'm I don't think I'm really gonna go in on those. I will I, be going I, I in think... on the Jade Horizon Five. So those mm. those three those three for me the Jade Horizon Five the That's Citrus ridiculous. Seven and the I'm a My Year Twos. I will be going full throttle on those three pairs in, yeah, in yeah. coming. The coming I'm, times. I'm, I'm definitely going in for those um, infrared fours. Um, those infrared fours and the black. Uh, those infrared fours, the black uh, military fours, um, and I think the citrus fours, citrus sevens. I'm definitely going in for. Um, there, there is, there is some real, real good sneakers coming out this year. By the way, I did. I, I totally messed up that name. It was the, it was the Jordan Seven Retro Myro. Those, those Myro Seven yeah, 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 are, yeah. are something. Those are, those are fire. Apologies for that, but those, those are definitely fire. But, but there, there is, there is sneakers I'm going to try for, and there's always going to be sneakers I'm going to try for other people for. So I will be touching pairs, and I, I don't know. I, I'm, I know he's looking for, he's looking for five or threes. Um, yo, bro, fire, fire, even though it's gonna be, I'm gonna give it an advance warning to everybody. Uh, even though the fire freeze is gonna be a big release because OGs have a big release, everybody's trying to double up on those pairs, bro. <laughs> yeah, me, me, probably you as well. <laughs> Q, right? <laughs> he wants, he wants two pairs, one for him, one for, one for, one for the homie. But, bro, like. Every, like we say, those those are five those five or threes, everybody's wanting so much show, and I think the whole enthusiasm with the Super Bowl with Eminem wearing a similar sneaker has rolled on, and it actually it rolled on to those uh, cardinal threes because a lot of people did pick up those cardinal threes, and they were quite hard to get uh, in real, in yeah. realism terms. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that there the pair there weren't enough there was not enough pairs around because I think there's gonna be loads of restocks and all of that stuff. But mm-hmm. but yeah that that's a that's a crazy situation. That's crazy crazy. Cause like 
all of a sudden from people saying freeze are dead to now, yo, let's pick up all these freeze. See what I'm saying? Like that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sold on the fire red threes. To be honest with yeah. you. Um, I, I get the same vibe, and I mean no disrespect to that fire red three colorway when I say this. Yeah. It reminds me of the racer blue threes with that dark yeah, yeah. elephant print. I, I'm just yes. not a fan of the dark elephant print for some reason. Oh, it that, don't, that, that, it don't hit right to, to the OG. That's back to the OG. That that's actually yeah. what the OGs look like. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know that, and I I don't think it wasn't. Had I been aware at the time, I mean, I was a kid in '87. I was like six years old when that shoe came out. Probably, um, I I don't think now if that was a new shoe, I I don't think that 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 dark elephant print is just it just don't do it for me. I like I like the colorway. I like the the style of it. I mean, the, the Jordan three. Obviously, I like Jordan threes. I got a, a bunch of them in my collection, but that that dark elephant print man just don't do it for me. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like it. Yeah. I, I, I like, for I like, some reason honestly. I didn't like it on the. I didn't like. I didn't like it on the racer blue. I mean, the racer blue was. A, I mean, it was a good oh. shoe, but but this is an. I mean, but. For me, like this is a must-have just because it's an actual colorway that OG, MJ yeah, wore, yeah. and there's yeah. nothing like a all there's nothing like a all white Jordan three. I think white Jordan threes like just set yeah. off pretty much any yeah. fit yeah. that you yeah. have, you know, like that you could have. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna also say that that racer blue three. Um, the reason one thing I didn't like about it was that it, it the division the elephant print supposed to be free free and reflective as well. They mm-hmm. kind of gave that vibe to it. I didn't, didn't feel that. I didn't feel the narrow print of the actual elephant print either. I, 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 it was more. It wasn't to do with the darkness of the elephant print. It was more to do with the fact that they do. They, they tried to do too much to the elephant print, and and it kind of like put me off it. It's like, no, nah, I just want it easy. I want it simple. I want it like you know, just 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 give us give us something, um, give us something like that's decent. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I mean, when you look at it, I like it. That's I bought it because I liked it, but when yeah. I got it in hand, like you were just saying that 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 dark elephant print it just throws me off, and the fact that there's no elephant print anywhere else other than the toe box and the the heel, like they, I think they should have put elephant print on the ice day, and I oh. think they should have gone with the normal. I think, and I could be wrong. But I think Nike is innovative enough and creative so, enough to figure out a way to put the elephant print on the normal way and still have it be three M. Well, one one thing I did not one thing I did notice is see this this is the free throw line freeze right? Um, this they, they, this got no elephant print there right? It's all white right right and uh, and I think I think that's the majority that's that's the same with the majority of freeze but the cardinal freeze. They put the elephant print right there, and it it does so much more to that sneaker. Yeah, and and the reason the reason I said that is because, on, like on the Cardinal Three, we get that color all the way around the top yeah. portion of the midsole. We get that racer blue, and in, in a it's not as high gloss as the Cardinal Three is, uh, unfortunately. But they should have. I think the this shoe should have been more like the Cardinal. Yeah, I yeah. think it, it it would it would have done better in the minds of sneakerheads had it been more like the Cardinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And e, I can't wait. I, I really can't wait until you get your Cardinals because I, I can't think, wait either, man. I think you're gonna love that shoe, bro. Like it's it's so bro, good, so I'm, so good. I, the leather yeah. quality, like hopefully, and um, I haven't seen any any uh, reports of bad quality on that shoe. No. So hopefully that 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 uh that crimson four bad quality was just a phase. Look at that, bro. Yeah. Not <clears throat> not no, it's a really beautiful shoe, man. Like and the fact that the you know, like that that the that the red goes all the way to the front, you know, like to the tip of where the elephant print starts. It's yeah. Yeah, no, no, it, no, it, no, it's no, a normally, really dope shoe. Normally it cut normally it cuts off here. Yeah, like here and this yeah. is all white. This is all white here. So, di- di- but for the thing, for this one carries on from medial toe all the way to lateral toe, like yeah. all the way through. That that Beautiful that, that is fine. And, and look yeah. look at the, look at the lever around this. 
I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I that's one shoe I would de- I don't think I would lace swap. I would keep no. the white laces in it. White laces all the way, bro. White laces yeah. all the way for this. There's yeah. there's something there's something there's something special about a definitely something special about a Jordan Three. Like Jordan Three in in light colors, bang! Like they literally you you it's like putting a brand new sneaker on. If you keep your sneakers clean, every time you wear a white all white, like all white Jordan Three with just like that mid midsole painted like blue cardinal red blue like any even black it just kind of pops off it's like it's not all white but it just pops off like bang look at that and you're like oh my god they, they look fire absolutely crazy even i'm in your freeze right they are crazy 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 so like um i, I think i think there's a uh, people uh, people are gonna start uh falling in love with with threes a lot more yeah the three the three is is an iconic silhouette um like you, you can't you can't say anything bad about the silhouette, but some of the colorways just much same with with most uh, silhouettes. Not even talking uh, Jordan or Nike silhouettes, even just certain mm-hmm. silhouettes. They they lend themselves to the culture. Like we love this shoe. That's why Yeezy can keep dropping three fifties with different. Exactly. Even even though it's a primary color shoe, right? There's normally mm-hmm. two two colors on the uppers. It's either yes. white or black or brown or blue or whatever, and then that that stripe. He can keep doing that, just like Jordan will always give us Jordan ones, Jordan ones, and, yeah, in different colorways, yeah. and they're gonna hit every time. Like even even the bad the, the bad quality of materials on the Shadow Two Point people love the Shadow Two Point People still love the Shadow Two Point Oh. Yeah, I yeah, yeah I definitely we talk, agree. We talked crazy about. The electro orange, the color blocking on the electro orange is still sold out. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So, so Every- we gonna always have silhouettes in the three. In my opinion, the three, along with the five, of course, the mm-hmm. one and the eleven. It it really doesn't matter what Nike does. They're right? always gonna sell. Mm-hmm. They're always gonna the animal print elevens. The the sneaker sneaker media was killing that shoe. If you look at the comments, <laughs> if you look at the comments on posts involving that shoe, trash, trash can emojis, sick emojis. Yes. They should have kept them. They should have they should have gave us this. They should have gave us that. Sold out. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, <laughs> sold out absolutely. every time. So. so, <laughs> so. So, so um, we, when we when we talk about when we talk about late night cops, we'll go back to that subject quickly now. What is the craziest late night cop you ever had? Like literally, like go through, go through, go through. Like, what was the what was one of the best cops you ever had, and what was the worst one when you when you actually been on your late night shenanigans, bro? I've had no bad cops to be mm. honest with you. Mm. Personally, I've, I've 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 had no bad cops. The best cop, I would have to say, the best cop, I would have to say, is the the hype the hyper royal ones. That's that's okay. that would be my my best late night cop. Yo, the <laughs> hyper royals. So much controversy surrounding that sneaker. Was your pair worthy? My it. The materials weren't the the shoe looks great, okay. But the materials aren't aren't as good as its predecessor, which is uh, the Turbo Greens. So right, right, right. right. Yeah. The, the material on the Turbo Greens is way way better, and just for that alone, um, and and just for that alone, I'd have to pick that over the Hyper Royals. But as far as color blocking goes, the Hyper Royals are also pretty darn good. Is like like pretty darn good. So that's the difference that's, in materials. So that's that's what you would consider your best. You don't have any bad, but on the low end, what would you mm. say? On the what? What'd you say? On the low on, end? On the low end of your of your late night cops. What what would you say? What's on the low end of my late night cops? Um probably the Probably the twos, but you know, you know, like you know, like, but again, that's not a like it's not a 
bad cop, but it's just compared to the yeah. others, compared to the others, that's that would go pretty lower. But in terms of but in terms of value, but in terms of value, that's probably my best value for money pickup. Cause yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's in terms of value for money, that's that's the best pickup that I've that I've done. So you got you got the Chicago's and the UNC's around yep. the same time? Around literally within a few days of each other. Um, I was already looking at the UNC. No, no, you um, weren't. I, I don't know. I was already looking yeah. at the UNC twos, and I'd already lost one pair that got, that that got sold. Bro. But then I came across the 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 Chicago twos, and the price was just too good. So I like I bought them right there, and then then I kind of checked with Cam about. Uh, all right, so the seller, like, I, I just contacted the seller. He didn't say best off or anything. I was just like, is there any wiggle room on the price? He was like, yeah, sure. I'll take $30 off. I'm like, okay, cool. $30? I bought, it, so I, bought it, I bought it right there and then. Yo, I need that. So, I, I was, net, net, yeah. if, you, if you count both pairs, I got both pairs for, I paid 300 for both pairs. So that's like hundred and fifty dollars. That's a deal. For, f- yeah, and they're both like in very re- in like pre- pretty good condition. Yeah, like the UNC pair. The the UNC pair damn near looks DS. No yellowing, no nothing. Yeah, I mean that that's that's a hell of a steal. I lost. I actually lost a pair of Chicago lows. Um, I was I was very very sad. I, I had a bad week. Okay, so <laughs> I had a, a really bad. Actually, it was a bad month on eBay because I started out hot, and then I it was the Chicago twos. I lost out on on the auction using the uh, cams patented sniper method. I lost out on that one. I ordered a pair of top three Jordan ones, which I still need right now. If anybody got size 11, get in my (laughs) DMs, like you're trying to let it go. Um, And then there was the Gatorade, the purple Gatorade fiasco that took me a a (laughs) month to grow. Like literally purchased the shoe. It was an auction. I won the auction, Sniper Method. And the guy never shipped the shoe. I waited a week. I contacted him. The guy told me it was snowing in Southern California, which, <laughs> which Cop and Sneaks actually, uh, shout out Cop and Sneaks. I think his, his name yep. is Derek too. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's in Derek he, too. He actually confirmed that it did snow in Southern California, but it it was nothing what he described to me was nothing like what this seller was trying to get me to believe. So I gave him another week and then I had to contact eBay because at this point, like my emotions are tied up. My bank account is tied up. Like I I can't do this. Uh, I'm not willing to, um, I'm not willing to put myself at risk because I felt like I was being scammed at that point. So I had to get eBay to step in. They, they, they uh, gave him a time limit, a hard time limit. He never met the time. He actually told eBay that he was updating the shipping. They told me what he said. He never did. And I never got that sneaker. I had to get my money back. So mm. you got to be careful on eBay. Luckily, mm-hmm. uh, on any any resale outlet, to be honest with you, and, and I say Ray, Ray, resale loosely. Yeah, ratings matters. Hundred percent ratings matters on when you post purchase from any uh, any buyer. Yes, because if, if like e, e let's there has been a situation where you purchased from eBay, and um, we mean you talked about it, and the sell, resell, uh, the seller gave you wrong size, even though the size was correct on the on the on the page, and you um, get yeah. do you, you end up keeping them? I had no choice but to keep them. I mean, yeah. you know, it's 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 a Jordan one, so you can finesse. I can finesse it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the guy delayed shipping and then also shipped the wrong size. Uh, and I didn't, find, unfortunately, you, you, you don't find out until you get it in hand. And by that time, it's already yeah. halfway around the world. So mm. I just kept them anyway. Um, I have worn them. So 
uh, you know, they don't look like Sas. They don't look too Sasquatch. You know, like they don't look like Sasquatch uh, feet. So, uh, yeah. But those are, you know, the, um, you know. But but it, I, I. This is one of those few cases where I didn't look at the seller's uh, feedback. I just saw a really good price in that it had the eBay authenticity guarantee. So, for me, those are like as long as it's it's got the authenticity guarantee. That's my safeguard, basically. But I should. Yeah, yeah. But nowadays. I go. I do go Double back check. in and look again at the seller's like uh, feedback. So, so um, should, in that situation, should <clears throat> didn't eBay have checked made it, sure it was the right size? Yeah, the offense. Uh, yeah, I, like I, I did talk to them and I was like, I just want to make sure he sent the right size, and they were like, Yes, he says he sent the right size. So that's, that's and a I said them, is it a size ten? Is it a size ten? Yes, it is. But sometimes you guilty you gotta understand, I think some of the customer service reps are just reading what's on the screen. Obviously, yeah. they're not talking to the actual folks who have the shoe in hand and are and are authenticating it. So exactly. Yeah. exactly. And and, yeah. and then and this is this is what why we emphasize most importantly that when you do get sneakers from resale sites like Collect or like StockX, like go and even like eBay, you go and legit check your sneakers yourself. Because if they're missing size points, it's it's for me it's it's a it's a very brain dead things like Yo, why you've got you've got a um you've got a sneaker you you got size on the screen it doesn't match you should be sending that right back because like it, it, you you should not be they should not be saying oh hey here's the size this is what it is they authenticate it and then there's, and it's the wrong size the wrong size turns up to you and then if you if you're missing size details what else are you missing as well are you really legit checking legit checking your sneakers? And and on that, I'm giving Foot Locker, I'm giving like not Foot Locker, eBay, a red red sneaker for that because you need to be checking your sneakers out properly before you give them to your clients because that is a, a bad 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 dog. <laughs> bad. Very bad. But I will give. I will give eBay one thing though. They are responsive. They are yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, they are they are quite like quite friendly to speak to. You're never really worried that you're not going to get your money back. It's in safe hands, especially if yeah. um, especially if you've used PayPal. Um, so, like, I pref- honestly, I prefer them to StockX. I tried buying once on StockX and it rejected my purchase just because of where my ISP was from, which is really stupid. That's but true, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I you know I tr- I. The shopping experience with eBay is a whole lot is a whole lot better yeah. because there's variety, there's deals to be had. It's a wider, you know, like wider choices, and there's follow up. There, you, you can interact with the seller, try and you know yes. try and cut a better deal, and you can also speak to a customer service rep. Um, yeah, between them and being able to speak to PayPal to get your money back, uh, I'd go with eBay every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, so for sure, moving for sure. on. Um, we let's 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 get into some some topics, some recent topics before we um before we call the podcast. We are coming up on the two hour mark. Um, we, are, we we've been going we've been going and going going and going every week. Uh, I think last week we did almost three hours. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we, we don't we don't want to tie up your night. I know we know it's evening for you, and and you you put the kids to bed so. We don't want to tie up your whole night. But have you heard about what Nike is doing now with Foot Locker? I have. I have indeed, sir. Why why is Nike pulling stock from Foot Locker? This is, this is what we were afraid would happen last year when we saw posts about Nike um, taking orders away from mom and pop stores, we uh, thought it was going to be yeah. small stores, but now arguably the biggest footwear chain, athletic wear chain in the world, Foot Locker, is getting the, the, the mom and pop's treatment from Nike. Like, what, what's, I, I, what's going on? I'm... Do you, do you do you want each, like, let's, let's 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 get E's opinion on this person, and I'll give you I'll give you what I think yeah. has actually happened. I think for I mean I think it's unfortunate for the mom and pop stores, but then again, 
you know, you know, like I think, like, like obviously, not not every not every store, you um, not every store operates the same or you, like or has the same practices. But mom and pop stores were kind of tar, you know, like a favorite of, you know, like like it would like it's easier for resellers to build relationships with the store owners. So mm-hmm. a shoe is literally sold out like before, like even before the release date. Right. Um, so I can understand why. Yeah. Um, and all of this then tends to reflect badly on on Nike. So, yeah, um, um, I can understand why they did it. I don't agree. I think they should have been a bit more selective with especially with the mom and pop stores that actually, you know, like stuck by, you, you, you know, like that actually did um, um, release their their product the right way. Yeah. Um, but with foot, but I'm guessing it's the same thing with. So it's, I, I think it's a combination of two things with um, with some of the major stores. One is uh the 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 way they the way uh they release their shoes as well um so you know like issues you know, like issues to do with backdooring canceled raffles and things of that nature um yep. and then the second thing i think is like they you know like they've actually like like they've actually realized we can push like because of the high demand for sneakers now we can literally and i think with covid and everything mo- moving mostly online I don't, you know, things aren't necessarily going to go back to the way they were before. So they're realizing we can actually reach our consumers directly. So I think they're, you know, like they're literally trying to yeah. have that direct, you know, like um, um, direct engagement with their consumers. So with the mom and pop stores, they've they've literally canceled like product. But with Foot Locker and, you know, like and its subsidiaries, they're also uh, what they're doing is they're just reducing the amount of stock that they'll get. It's not that they won't carry their stock anymore but it's gone down drastically from being about what the i recall i think the article said 70 percent of um their per, like a footlocker's purchases to now being around 60 or 50 mm-hmm. um, um uh 60 or 55 or 55 yeah, percent yeah, yeah, yeah. as well so yeah. Foot, footlocker actually yeah. lost um <clears throat> they, they lost revenue um yeah. from from they, 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 the last fiscal year so this is this is going to put a dent in uh in Foot Locker's wallet. I think so, one more thing, one more thing that I um that I didn't raise is also Foot Locker. I I think also the fact that Foot Locker has shares in, shoes? in oh. has yeah has shares in I think Flight Club and Goat or they yeah. they there's some they they bought equity into into both these guys. <laughs> so I think it raises credibility issues that. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it so raises credit. Quite it a, raises quite a red shoe. Yes, yeah. it does. Several red shoes that. No, no, okay, no, no, so no, no, no. You're, no, you're no. a retailer. You're a retailer, yeah. but you know, but you know, but you're also invested in re, like in the resale business. So how's that a good yeah. look? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna say, say, I'm gonna take this off the screen, right? First of all. Right, and um, let me just remove that, and I'm going to focus it on focus it on Q. Right now, Q, you'd bring that shoe dog uh, book up. <laughs> right. So, 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 this is to you, Footlocker, for not picking up your damn phone, right? For <laughs> retracting all the all the EU and UK draws, right? That was reserve reservation only to pick up. This is for you allowing your star. Potentially, allegedly, I know for sure, possibly, backdooring your sneakers and not allowing people to pick up your sneakers. And this is karma because Nike is taking away your stock because you don't conduct your business properly. And this is what I've got to say about that subject because that is why I think uh, most of that has most of that happened. Because let's let's get this honest. Like in 2017, 2018, 2019. In the EU and UK, we had we didn't have the flex app. We had reservation, so you can come and you can come reserve your sneakers, go and walk into the short store and pick them up, right? Now you kill calling flip, but nobody answers your phone calls. That's that's absolute bullshit. That's why I've given that that Phil Knight book to you, the shoe dog books up for um, Foot Locker because you got you guys have got some shady ass business, right? And 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 rightfully so. Nike has identified your store has been a weakness and they've taken away the majority of the stock in the come next coming years. So you now lost 35% of your, <laughs> of your stock. So 
that's indirect of how you conduct your business because Nike will not be doing that if you were selling your sneakers correctly. So this is my rage on to Foot Locker because you guys are out of order for exactly what you've done and you put yourself in that position rightly so. Yo, so, I wish I had so a liar. I would raise my liar. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I, 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 I'm kind of sounded I'm, like me. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I vouch for I vouch I vouch for people that sell their sneakers correctly. I vouch for people that like I vouch for people that actually allow for people to pick up their sneakers for retail. Do you know how badly Foot Locker, the Foot Locker app is heavily botted out? I the last the last actual purchase I I've actually done for a sneaker that was like easy to get uh, except for the except for the brothers that I actually picked up to this week because that was out of pure fluke and luck, right? But you know how heavily that site is bought. The last time I actually picked up a retail pair for myself was those game roll ones, bro. And how when was that? 2017? I don't I've game never yeah. I have never bought a sneaker from any Foot Locker site on the release. No, I'll take that back. I did manage to get the red Flint 13. I think that's the only shoe that I've ever bought from Foot Locker. If I even got that shoe from Foot Locker, it might have been finish yeah. line. But I, I can't, I can't even I can't remember ever on release day copying online at Foot Locker. I have I have moderate moderate success on the Flex app with in-store pickups, and that's mainly because I think I'm I'm choosing the right stores for mm. the appropriate sneaker. And like that's that's a demographic thing. But yeah. as far as release day, bro, ain't no way. Like I don't can you cop manually on Foot Locker? And well, champs well, it, and, and it, it, it depends. It depends, and the, the, that whole situation is absolute garbage. Because, it, for for from from my perspective, is you how 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 are you how are these foot sites not protecting themselves from bots? How productively not making sure like you're making you're making life so much easier for people that that pick, get a computer program to actually hijack the queue, and you it's like first come first serve. People people are literally virtually hijacking that queue to step in front of you pick up all the pairs so by the time you go mm-hmm. in you can't pick up a pair like legitimately sort your bloody website and on, on top of that the, the whole call it yo the whole call and collect scenario right i'm not joking i've been told physically some people walk like we we mentioned this a couple of weeks back bro uh, we somebody some people have walked into the store asked the manager i've been calling can i reserve now no you can't you have to f- call by phone walked out the store try try to reserve and it's never it's never ever, ever kind of come through they've literally Stood there as the phones rang, looked inside the store, and the manager's not picking up. So how can you justify call and collect when you can't even your staff are reluctant Answer to pick up that phone, call? Yeah. yeah. And so it, it can you even come, call it call and collect? It has to come down. It has to trickle down. Like Foot Locker, this this may incite this this Nike uh, drawback of of stock might incite some some type of Changes. trickle down. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, uh, Foot Locker will, especially because the, maybe it has something to do with the fact that um, Finish Line, oh, I'm sorry, Foot Action won't be getting any new releases. The, the like mm-hmm. the app is dead. There's, there's no releases on the app. You can still shop under the, that Foot Action uh, moniker, but no more releases for Foot Action. So yeah. maybe that has something. They're to closing do with down it. too. They're exactly. closing yeah. down as well. So yeah. so yeah. like Foot Locker, bro. Y'all y'all gotta. Y'all got to get better unless y'all want to feel the wrath of an angry African Indian Brit every week on the Shoot Dog Podcast. Because <laughs> like, this man I'm, just, I'm, this man inflamed y'all up. <laughs> and right from the start. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, also going to add, like, for, yo, when you when you bro, stick that book up, stick that book up, stick that book up, right? <laughs> like, 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 it, it's this part two. This is part two, right? Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you again, bro, because like literally, how can you justify selling brotherhoods for one seventy on your website when they retail for one fifty five? I know that crunch time's coming in, but damn, don't increase the shoe prices. Do your business properly, because how the hell? 
are you selling brothers for 170 when they actually retail for 155 on my cap? They they don't they don't deserve to be sold for 170 for one. You literally price that sneaker like a Jordan 4. How the hell? How the hell? That that's even that's that's even that's crazy, bro. That's crazy to me. Like that's ridiculous. Listen, uh, and right there, and right there, ladies and gents, you just got a preview of next week's 60 second sneaking news. And and look, I, I, the, the, the vision, the vision I got with Foot Locker. I'm, I'm just on one today. The vision, the vision I got from Foot Locker is: Have you, have you guys not? You know, you guys on Sports Direct. Yeah, there's a, there's a yeah, there's a there's a store called Sports Direct. It used to be quite popular back in the day. You could you could get a good couple of good things here and there, um, but now now it looks like Foot Locker are headed that way because you lose the majority of your Nike stock. It's especially limited exclusive. You are going to be there downgraded to the second tier kind of um, shot of foot site. So I, I I saw this I saw this coming. Um, last year or the year before, when when Foot Locker wasn't getting some of the releases from Nike, they like let's just be honest, like in the UK, in the EU, right? If you live there, you don't get every single Jordan release or Nike release uh, that's limited or that's special or like I I can't remember. I don't I don't even I don't even know if Foot Locker got the pattern bread once right, in the UK or EU. I don't, I don't know if they did, but they, they, there's been cases and times when they haven't got releases, and you're wondering what the hell. I literally wondered last year. What's happening with Foot Locker? They normally have a release for this, this, and this, and this, but they haven't got nothing. Um, only recently they've got the they they've got the what do you call it the Jordan Free, and I and I blamed it on blamed it on late shipping, I blamed it on late stock restocks and all of that. But truly, they're slowly been losing stock from Nike, and it's an official statement. And this is why we've seen the sale prices dip. And recent, like just this week, Nike has just said, oh, Nike vice president just said. There you go, Foot Locker. Pretty much, yeah, Foot Foot Locker. Foot Locker kind of been twirling in the wind um, mm-hmm. so far this year. Um, last year, they they seem to to kind of be steady on on the pace that they're usually on. Yep. But like in in the US, I know um, Foot Locker has been they've been catching it um, b- between the controversies about um, you know people getting hurt on releases and and the the, the employee. Um, you know, having too much fun in the stock room. And now <laughs> yep. we are jizzy. He's going jizzy on a jizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 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 um was it pizzy? Was it pizzy and jizzy? Going no, it's, it's, that's, that's, <laughs> that, that employee that employee might as well drop an album. His his rap name is F, <laughs> FT Jizzy. <laughs> FL no, F, 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 FL Jizzy. FL Jizzy. FL Jizzy. But uh, so that he puts, the he puts, put, a, he puts a whole new name on. He puts a whole new name on um, Big Willie, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, Foot Locker, Foot Locker's in trouble, man. Like I don't, I don't know. Yo, we'll see. see what's trouble. We'll see. We'll see what happens um, moving forward. But um, what's what's the next? What's the next topic, TJ? Uh, ne- next topic. Next topic is we we know we know you're from Glasgow, bro. Um, and uh, <laughs> so we, we we know you from we we know you lived in Glasgow for Glasgow for a year and a half. Um, so uh, I I know I know the I know the 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 the, the sneaker mafia must be really really big in in Glasgow because have you seen that report, bro? I, I'm just, I'm just wondering um, whether um, you you had some connections in this. <laughs> Nah, Nike, I, uh... Nike train is worth 400k stolen from a lorry parked on the M74 um, service station at South of Glasgow. So literally, they were trailing this lorry, um, knew what was the cargo, and um, just went, thank you very much, we're going to take this cargo from you, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. I kept it. I kept everything strict. Like I kept everything strictly above board, bro. I had. I had no idea. I have. Nah. <laughs> that is not I, me. Although, <laughs> although if one of them had fell out the back of a truck, I'd have gladly taken. <laughs> I. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I mean, if it has, I mean, as you're making your getaway, and 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 like, and a box lands in my hands. What you want me to do? Hey, no, you yeah, gotta, yeah, I don't you know. Gotta I, I don't know who to give it back police. to. The sneaker police. I, give it, I don't know who to give it back to. The sneaker police. <laughs> what's, 
Sneaker police. And us. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> we we are the sneaker police. We are we are our own we are our own police for the community. Okay, so yeah. you you take that pair as evidence, and you have to test it out to make sure <laughs> that is that it's a real pair, and then you give the information back to the community, and then yeah. we 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 take it we take it to the court of sneaker public opinion. Uh- of, of, of sneaker, <laughs> the court of sneaker appeals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you know, you know, you know. The funny thing is that that robbery <coughs> was like twenty minutes away from Scott. Where? Th- wait a minute. Where was where was Scott when this was happening? <laughs> You're saying Scott was in the vicinity when this thing happened? <laughs> no, he was twenty minutes away from from his house. That 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 robbery. Oh, that's what he <laughs> said, huh? Wait, that's and weird. all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, I have brand new Cardinals. <laughs> Scott, whatever you did, thank you. <laughs> you sure he was at the? You sure he was at the sneaker store when he called me? <laughs> yes, bro, he what was store? at the sneaker store. <laughs> what store? Was? Uh, yes, I can vouch. He was at the sneaker store. And, he was not. Out, him, bro. He was. He was not out of breath. <laughs> I saw the bag. It's just jokes, guys. It's just jokes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Scott's, it, just Scott's legit. <laughs> but 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 like uh, why do you think this happened like did you feel like people just i i, I know because be, like sneakers is a big business so are we gonna see the wild wild west casino style on the on, on the on these sneakers in the future I think, bro? because i think this was just a crime of opportunity that's it like oh if if sneakers start going missing you're gonna see some armed vehicles come out with these sneakers it's gonna increase our prices even more for these sneakers bro it, it, it depends it depends, depends on 200 it's 250 on, now bro it, it, it depends on how much the brand uh values that stuff because we we know they got insurance so they didn't yeah. lose they, they didn't lose nothing on it they might have had to pay a deductible or something <laughs> but it's less but, but it's less it less pairs on circulation for us guys that means like, and most of those pairs are going back to the resale stores, in potentially because like, like in, in, oh, yeah. let's be real, you're gonna you're gonna just put them into the local, you're gonna put them into the local resale store, um, so pump pump up the pump up the volume of them, and some of these stores are gonna have pairs that ain't, like, yo, if you're a resale store and you're selling pairs that ain't even released yet, you gotta suspect where they came from. That's what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it's it, 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 those infrared. If those infrareds that you force that you are selling right at the moment in time legitimately came from uh, a store or did they come from the off the back of a lorry? That's the whole new meaning, bro. Forget like forget for, forget like, like I said in the sneaker news, forget back doors, forget bots. This is high season, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's, 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 it's super high. It's, 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 it's grand, it's, it's grand <laughs> sneaker uh, theft out here. Like. Grand. <laughs> grand. <laughs> Grand Theft Sneaker out here, GTS out here. GTS. <laughs> GT, we GTS for 2020, man. Like, I, don't, I don't know, man. Mm, so that, that's, look, that's some crazy stuff, bro. We, we just hit, we just hit two hours. Um, <laughs> we, we know, we know, rich, rich Uncle E. He got, he got couscous and filet mignon and, <laughs> and caviar and. and and truffles, the uh, gold, gold, golden flake truffles, and then all this stuff in the kitchen waiting on him. Um, yeah, yo, bro. Yeah. We, first all right. of all, I do want to say again, I appreciate you just for being yourself. Like, like we we don't see it as much outside of our circle because we we do pride ourselves on being ourselves and not falling into mm-hmm. the hype. We 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 be honest with each other, um, and that goes for everybody. Cam, uh, you, TJ, Alex, yep. um, Scott, uh, Ash, both Ashes, uh, <laughs> Dale, you know, uh, um, John, everybody in the group that we communicate with on a regular basis. Chris is dope. Chris, Chris like, is dope. I, I don't want to yeah. I don't want to leave anybody out. If I'm forgetting your name, is not on purpose. Retro. <laughs> everybody, everybody that that we rock with, Blue Jay, my brother Rod, like we all, we all stay in pocket, yep. and 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 you, the, your styles, the, the the stuff that you go after, the um, the colorways that you say yay or nay on, like it's it's easy to believe. Like every everybody that we communicate with regularly, we, it's easy to believe each other 
when we say something, when we don't like something, when we do like something, if, yeah, if, we, if, if we, we change we, our we energy. Same energy. Yeah, even we, if, we, we keep... Yeah. Yeah, even we keep them and we keep the yeah, we keep the energy most of the time. But we do, we do, we everybody's allowed to change their opinion on sneakers because it's like when when you really get a sneaker in hand, then you realize um, what it's all about. And then this is this is like one of the things that um, I like about E because um, I know I know E would really well, um, and, and I know and I kind of like to know what he would like. And um, one of the things is I knew he was going to like these Jordan Free um, Cardinals. Um, and I was just waiting for the time when somebody pulled them out, like you did, uh, Q, and he was like, yo, they're nice, I want them now. <laughs> and and, and so, you know, he's consistent, like, he's consistent. He was like, so sometimes he was like, nah, I don't want them, and he would stick to that because it's not a colorway that he would like anyway. And, like, he's, like, he's, if you don't know, you probably don't know E, but um, E's style is now changing and evolving to a point where he's, like, he's picking up Jordan 1 lows, like the original OG lows rather than the retrofit lows. Um, he's picking up those. He's picking up the, he's usually just seen the twos, the Chicago and the uh, UNC twos, which are all both lows. So that's the kind of style he's going for. And the three fits nicely in that style. And I knew when the Cardinal threes were coming up that he would want a pair. He would want a pair definitely. And, and uh, lo and behold, he's got a pair coming. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to see the. I can't wait to see the rich photos we take. <laughs> and the, those will go. Those will go. Those. Those will, will most likely be one of those that go straight out the box and onto and onto my feet, depending on the day they arrive. Yeah, but they that'll, that'll, that'll that'll be a, that'll be a great reel. Like you always do, great reels, uh, inspirational stuff, man. Great fit picks. Appreciate y'all. Great conversation. Like I mean, this this is this is e guy soul. Um, again, he's the bro, just like TJ, just like Cam and everybody else that I, that I've, um, that I've had the privilege of being in contact with, man. I appreciate you. We appreciate you being on the podcast. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Stop stunting, stop stunting on us so much. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? You know what? what? Just cause you know what? Just you know, like you know, like just cause just cause you wore the merch today. I'm gonna let you have that one. I'm gonna let you enjoy that. One. I'm gonna let you have this one. <laughs> you know, and you did, and you, this and, is a and one-time you didn't do, pass. And you didn't do too 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 bad on on the on the on the yellow. I think you only got two, maybe two. Was it two? No, we yellow or red. We, we didn't we, did, we didn't throw the book on you. We're gonna go back. We're gonna tally the scores on everybody, all right? Even ourselves. <laughs> we gotta tally the scores on ourselves. And Yo, we gonna, we gonna you, you, you can't you can't. You can't beat the Foot Locker. <laughs> you got the book twice. You got, nah. got the book twice. They got the, they got the book <laughs> and they got the red shoe. So um, <laughs> for 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 everybody that don't already, go follow E Got Soul. Go yep. to, he has the link. I'm looking at the link right now on his IG. Let me throw that up. The link is right there. Sneaker Got Soul. He got sold on IG. You go to his bio. He got the link right here to go purchase the merch. Watch the reels. Share, support. Support is free. We support each other. We support everybody else. So um I think I think that's gonna do it, man. Anything Appreciate you got to say to the people, E. Nah, just uh, I'm not just that it's been a pleasure to be on today. I mean, obviously, you know, what like at this point, you guys are like family, but um, you know, um, you know, like, and I'm proud of this thing that y'all have started. It is like, it's like, it's really one of the best podcasts out there. I, and it's nice to actually be able to watch it up on a big screen. So, uh, when, you know, like, so, so obviously when this episode airs, that's exactly what I'm going to do, but y'all keep grinding, <laughs> y'all keep doing what y'all doing. And, uh, I'm here to support y'all any way I can. So hey. thank y'all for having Cheers, me. I appreciate you. Thank you, bro. I, I, we really need to get this on, on all the other platforms as well. So I need to try and look look through that um, in terms of Spotify and all of that stuff because I think, I think vocally this could go, this could do really well on different platforms. But yeah, and uh, like, thank you, E, for coming. You, you are always a bro. And then, you know what? It's never a hassle to assist you because you know when, 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 I've got to do this, I've got to do this. When the hunt is on, we go, we go, we go, we go, Elmer Fudd on these. <laughs> so, so on, on, on that note, on that note, Q, you're going to wind us down, bro. Yo, 
We appreciate y'all for watching. Get in the comments, man. Join the conversation. Follow the bros. Everybody will be linked. And have a great day, a great week, a great month. And hopefully, everybody can cop all the E Got Soul sneaker veteran merch they want. Because <laughs> we all deserve to get the E Got Soul sneaker veteran merch. All right? Two dollar podcast. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>